Welcome back to the Green Zone. Warren Wood sitting in for the vacationing Jamie Nye. Daryl Davis alongside. You know it. You love it. You can't do without it. It's another edition of Premier's Picks, which I finally get to host. I get to do this about once a year. Daryl has never yeah. had the chance to co-host Premier's Picks and have the opportunity to talk to his eminence, Mr. Brad Wall. Hi, Brad. How are you? <laughs> Guys, how are you? All right, Jamie keeps me out of this chair all the time. I've asked him a few times if I can come in on sit in on Premier's picks and bug you and Gary, and he'll never let me do it. Daryl, I'm just happy to still be on the segment because I fumbled my phone earlier. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, man. You're out of here. I hope you're on. I hope you're on a plane out of town. <laughs> we're we're what, gonna say. You, how are you doing? With uh, I'm doing very well, Brad. Thank okay. you very much. I, I, you know, it was kind of funny. I felt sorry for Sarah Mills because uh, she. I don't know what the exact. Um, um, a topic was on parks, but she had this whole segment planned on uh, on talking about Saskatchewan parks uh, during her show, and then the 306 text line just blew up over the uh, yeah. o- over the Hugh Charles release, and all of a sudden they have to talk about that. Isn't that amazing? You know, you've got the issues of the day just overtaken by the release of a running back nobody wanted here in the first place. July in Rider Nation. <laughs> mm-hmm. There's uh, every tree that falls in the forest is heard and seen and commented on and e- tweeted about. No kidding. It, it yeah. even beats the legislature sometimes, doesn't it? it yes. <laughs> well, and it's, uh, I'd say it's, it's, it's more compelling. <laughs> you know, in, in many ways, though, sports and politics are, are somewhat similar, aren't they? Because, you know, there, there, there are so many hot button issues to, to, to talk about and people become engaged in. And, and, and even when it comes to, uh, to elections, you can compare those to sports as well because you know you got winners and losers mm-hmm. like even even we here in the sports media follow the, the the politics and especially the election trail rather rather closely just to see how it's all going to yeah. work out in the end it's reality television at its best you know there is a, i think there are some similarities um, obviously it, you know it is competitive and you know but most people i you know, most people in this province on football have an opinion and in politics they have an opinion mm-hmm. and they're happy to share it, and then that causes people with a, a different opinion to get engaged. And before you know it, you got the uh, 306, 306 text <laughs> thing blowing up, and you've got you know people online and letters to the editor. And, you know, not a bad thing. I mean, we could be talking about other stuff. I guess uh, that's uh, you know maybe wouldn't be not not as good. Have you got a take on this uh, this whole running back situation, which has just uh, dominated uh, Ryderville for the last uh, for the last few days now? You know, I'm I'm so torn. I, I'm loath as a fan to second guess uh, coaches, especially ones that have been as successful as we're lucky to have leading our organization and the uh, and the front office. Uh, look at they put together. So, you know, they just won a a great cup. A, a, you know, a, a remarkable great cup at home. They put together the right team to get that done. And I see I sure see flashes of uh, players who are stepping into huge shoes, playing pretty well. So. I don't know. I'm I, I'm tempted to give them the benefit of the doubt. Although it's tough. I what he almost got. I, I didn't see the game. We were at Cypress camping, but I you know it what ninety yards in the first half. But he dropped the ball once and, and off he goes. So now we've got Ford. Is it? I guess. Hey, coming into town. Mm-hmm. I guess you can kind of identify too with being second guessed, right? I mean, <laughs> the you know the coach is always second guessed as, as as you are as the leader of the province. I think maybe there's some similarities there. You know, we also aren't privy to what's going on internally there and they're making decisions based on what happens on the field and also what they know of off the field who they know might become available and i don't know it's like i said after last year i think everyone deserves a bit of uh the organization deserves some slack to make the decisions because they've certainly been uh, they've been on a they were on a bit of a roll dating back to early early uh, last year think of the florida camp uh you know two floor like not the last one here one but the one before that uh pretty good work done there that's true. They haven't. They've proven that they can win, and they, it's a little early to say that they're not going to do the right thing this year. How about that game tomorrow, though? Edmonton, Winnipeg, three and O teams. Before before oh, before can... we do that, we're going to bring in the king here, right right okay. here, because he's. Hey, it, and just before we bring in King, or he can come on too. Absolutely, I guess because it's your guys' show. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, you go ahead. But what? No, but what? Uh, what have we heard about Kilgore? Because I, I, I think everybody was pretty excited at, uh, about him at Mike there at, yeah. at linebacker. Yeah, that's an, that's another issue that people are that are people talking about. He's on the uh, six game list. He's got a broken thumb. We saw him at the Lancaster Tap House for our first show. He dropped in afterwards, and he was eating a hamburger. Okay, 
He <laughs> held it fine in the one in his other hand. So I think that he'll be ready here for the seventh game of the year. <laughs> yeah, I doubt that they'll bring him off uh, early, especially a guy that they uh, haven't seen yet in game conditions. Right. But uh, right. but uh, he is eligible to come off uh, whatever after the next uh, you know after the next three games. Then he can come. I, off I was getting a bit of intel out of camp in Saskatoon, including um, some of the coaching staff of the Huskies. There, I thought you know they were mm-hmm. thought it was pretty impressive. You're right. That would really help them with that run defense too, which is hasn't been as strong as we thought it would be. Well, we knew it might be struggling with the changes that they've made in the in the inside of that defense, but having him come whole- back will help. The middle, except for our back at safety, is all brand new, I guess. Yeah, yeah. pretty well. Yeah, absolutely. The uh, the king is uh, here, uh, of course, a co-host of the uh, the fan zone with our good buddy uh, Scotty, producer Scott, and they uh, do a bang up job during uh, during the game telecast here on uh, News Talk nine eighty CJME. And that, of course, that... he is gloating. He oh. is gloating a little right now. Oh, it's insufferable. And, you know, <laughs> you kind of have the right to Gary because. Jamie's pretty hard on you. I how, I try to not be, but Jamie how can be a often, bit of a jerk to you, so I'd gloat. How often do I get this chance, though, Mr. Premier? You have to remember, I am terrible at this. Like, I suck. So when I get these <laughs> moments, I really have to, you know, enjoy them for as much as I possibly can. I'm going to milk every single bit out of it, because it's not going to happen for another, like, four weeks. Yeah, what so. we're talking about, Gary was uh, finally on the uh, the right side of the ledger for a change and was uh, got three out of four right last week. Thank goodness to that hot mess, hey, Mr. You Premier? You actually picked BC. <laughs> what did you know? Well, you guys, you, you guys being the experts that you all are, you overthink this stuff. <laughs> I just like to play the odds most of the time and take the underdog and see where it takes me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And any t- and I, for the record, for the rest of the year, I am now going with the Premier's hot mess of the week, which I know will not be the Saskatchewan ri- Rough Riders, even though the formula that we came up with last week suggests that that would be the hot mess. But I'm sure as the political leader of this province, you would have found a way to sort of dodge that by now, Mr. Premier. Hello. Oh, <laughs> Sit by not talking? No, Did we lose him? Did I, he conveniently drop on that, that think, exact question? I'm, I'm th- thinking the, the hot mess might be the Toronto Argonauts now. Oh. That's an interesting. What one. are you thinking, Gary? Well, they're on my list to yeah. uh, take, so yeah, one, one, <laughs> it's one or the other. The yeah, Rough Riders, the Rough, Rough Riders weren't especially strong, but Toronto losing Chad Owens is really going to hurt the Toronto, the Argonauts as well too. I'm thinking going in, he their whole offense gears around him. Yeah, and the the injuries everywhere are starting to pay their toll now, and it's yeah. sort of weird to see because it's so early in the season still. So it's really adjusting the whole you know, the whole plane of the league as we are going through. Mm-hmm. All right, we've uh, hooked Sorry, up guys. again. No, that that that's all right. Another so fumble, convenient. right? Does anybody, does anybody yeah. know anyone at Sask Health? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't drop the phone, did you? No. Good. Uh, oh, good. yeah, that's too, that'd be two fumbles. I yeah, then we'd have to throw you off the show. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I I, have, have a word with somebody at Sask Health about that. Way. I think you, you, can, you can do something about that. All right, we've got to move along here with the, sure. uh, with the picks. Uh, Mr. Premier, we'll start with uh, you tonight as uh, usual. Of course, uh, you you can't pick the Riders this week because they're not playing, so yep. uh, you get a break there. Edmonton at Winnipeg. That's uh, going to be the marquee matchup uh, battle of undefeateds. I like Winnipeg at home. Ooh, beautiful. Okay. Yeah. I, I also like Winnipeg. And uh, you do too. Okay. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, Jamie, Premier, ja- we- Jamie's got Edmonton, and uh, Fake Gainer has got uh, Winnipeg. By the way, yeah. Fake Gainer, I think, is the hot mess this week. Yeah, he oh, was yeah. 4 Yeah, he, he took the collar last week. Uh-huh. Not not, I, not good at all. But, but I can't pick him, though. We need a team. Daryl said the Argos. Are you okay with that, uh, Mr. Premier? Who said the Argos? Daryl did. Daryl did? Daryl? No, no, yeah. I'm picking Ottawa. Oh, no, I'm oh. picking Ottawa. I'm thinking Toronto's the hot mess. All right, you guys, are, you guys are confusing me. Daryl can't pick. No, okay. Okay, so Chad, but Chad Owens is not playing. Is right. No, he's no, not. Yeah. No. So you're going with Ottawa? I picked the red black. All right. Ooh. Gary? Well, I'm taking the the hot mess. I'm taking the Argos. I'm going to go okay, three for three on the you're old. taking the Argos. Okay. The old good stuff there. And uh, Jamie has got uh, Toronto. And Fake Gainer has got uh, Ottawa. So there we go. It is nice to be picking Ottawa, is it? Yeah, it is. Uh-huh. It is. It is. We're actually going to talk to Wayne Scanlon of the Ottawa Citizen, find Ooh. out what's going on there a bit later uh, on, uh, 535. All right, we've got to move on here. Hamilton at Calgary. Stamps. Stamps for the premier, Gary. I I really really don't want to take them, but I have to take the stamps. Oh yeah, you, the, you, like, the, you, it, yeah. Well, you now can only, you can only that, hit hit and miss so always, much, right? Yeah, now now, now, now that you're there's a winner, a lot of drama in your picture. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not used to coming off a winning week. I'm I feel like I have to be a little smarter now. 
Uh, Jamie, Jamie's going Calgary, so too is fake Gainer. And uh, the last one, Montreal, BC. The Leos. Does anybody say Leos anymore on their Yeah, I like. I used to say it a lot in television. Headline yeah. writers use it. Headline writers use it a lot because it's a couple letters less. Hor- Darryl, horoscope write, writers Darryl, as well. You don't get to write your own headline. No, either. well, you have to now. <laughs> the newspaper business has changed, bro. You have to a little bit now. So. <laughs> All right, uh, King. What do you got? Uh, I'll take the Owls. No, oh, boy. Just so I in can in BC. Uh, they never ground. win in BC. Yep. Hey, you guys. Really? Yeah. That's just a... take a look at last week and then oh, give okay. me a little credit. Oh, yeah. All right. Come on. All right. Jamie's uh, got uh, Jamie's got the Lions and uh, Fake Gainer's got Montreal as well. Wow. Oh, oh man. Really? Is it okay. too late to change? So there you go. Yeah, I know. So there we go. Another edition of Pre. Premier's picks. Uh, folks, thanks so much. This was uh, really enjoyable. It was my one time of the year I could do this, although maybe there'll be one other opportunity. I think there's another bye week that probably Jamie will take off. Jamie's so, on the bubble. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there you exactly. Go. Appreciate it, gents. Thanks so much. Thank thanks, you. Guys. Take care. Thanks. All bye-bye. right. Thank you. That's uh, Premier's picks. And uh, once again, lots on the line. I don't even know what's on the line in this thing. It's <laughs> right. just bragging rights, yeah, I guess. Of course it is. You know, Trying you, to beat the Premier. You have to do that. It's a lot of fun that way. Yeah I, yeah. I can't believe anybody would even think about Hamilton, though, and beating Calgary. Yeah, there you go. All right.